sir, there are no forks. Take a spoon. They'll do just fine. Um, uh, if you don't mind, I'd actually just like to use a fork. Trust me. A spoon will do just fine. Seriously, man, I already have a spoon. Just give me a fork. Please. Take a spoon. Please, just give me a fork! Okay. We're going to need a clean up on our three. I didn't always go to this school. Once, I was just a regular kid. Well, regular if you consider having a divorce cop for a dad and a mom who took her $20,000 and sailed away on a boat to Cancun. But, you know, normal. This sad sack of water's me, Cal Mahood. I came to college in hopes of finding myself, finding friends and being happy, yada yada yada. Well, that's the crap I tell myself in the mirror, but to you, I can be honest. I don't have friends, can't be myself here and I would love to find happiness. I think there's a pill for that, or so my roommate says. Anyways, I really just want to get out of here and do some real work. Maybe I'll join the force like my old man. Have you ever watched Sherlock? Sherlock is a great show. Really remarkable stuff. A little too dumb for me, but still fairly quality. You remember him? Yeah, that's my roommate, Jimmy Leach. I can't stand his candy ass. He has no dreams whatsoever. He just sits around all day playing video games and being loud. Grow some nerve, am I right? Who are you? That is some bushly shit right there! Who are you, you big wuss? Go back to your mama! Jesus! Ah! You quit making a mess? Not my problem, Biatch. And by the way, I'm the cleanest person you know. That's not true. Name one other person you know. Okay, well, last week I cleaned up our entire room because you went rampaging through all of my stuff. I was looking for my love letter. From who? Myself. Did you find it? Have you noticed there's no forks in the cafeteria? Uh. There's no forks on this entire campus, and you've never noticed. No. Chopsticks. Oh. You should get some. They're mighty handy. They're useful in more ways than you think. I guess. Well, it's getting late. I'm gonna hit the hay. Okay. Dude, your alarm's been going off for like 30 minutes. Gee, thanks.
I was glass. Long story short, I didn't go. I did see something really strange though. Was it Professor Slavodan making out with another student? No. Wait, what? Yeah, it's, it's pretty nasty. Anywho, I think I saw something really shady going down. There were these guys in dark clothing and shades, and they were loading a box labeled not spoons and not knives into a car. That literally could have been anything. Mangoes, a human head, who cares? You're not at all interested in this? Sounds boring. Fine. I'll do this myself. about the strange disappearance of forks? Okay, cool. Leave me in the freezer. Where are you going? Forks, man. Okay, and you? Same. Boss's orders. Go ahead. Hey Cal, you seriously need to stop forking around. What's cut? I've been sitting here all day playing games and I went to go to the bathroom and somebody left that sifting on your pillow. You've been very bold thus far, but you've forgotten your plates. Spooner or later, we'll fork you up. Spicy. It's not very nice. Well, I've got enough on my plate. Plus, I don't want to get Get off your glass. For once in your life, can you help me out? Fork off. Why are you here? Pie. I just swore I have a good time. Let's well, not taste any time. It really tosses my salad when a person spends their entire life wrapped up in their own self-ignorance. You can't spend your 100% whole grain life just going with the flow and not caring. It's time to cut the carb and go out and bake something of yourself. We can no longer fork around. They've already won. It's over. It's not over till the fat ladle sings. So tell me, are you cooming with me or not? Fork, yeah. Okay, here's the plan. Damn, Cal. That's a thorough plan. Ah, I've made better. So how are we doing this? Okay, first thing first. We gotta get past the guard. You're gonna be the distraction. Cool, what do I do? Uh... No. Yes. No. Yes. For me for a minute? Yeah, no problem. Wait for me! Once you distract the guard, I'll go down the elevator. Try to lose the guard. I'll hold the elevator for as long as possible.
How'd you get here so fast? There are stairs right there. Yeah. Okay, step two. We need to sneak down the hallway. Um, oh, sick. Do we get to be like secret agents? What do you think? Yeah? No. Let's go. Yo. The last thing we need to do is find all of the boxes. Then we'll have all the evidence we need. If there even is anything. Still don't believe me. Just saying. I had an insatiable appetite. I ate and ate and ate. Fettuccine, pesto, calzones, all of it. But one day, I bit off the end of my fork and it got lodged in my throat. I went to the doctors and they said there was nothing they could do. They said the fork was destroying my throat, but at the same time holding it together. My mother always said never bite off more than you can chew. So, I put it to you. You two have been sneaking around, forking around where you don't belong. And yet, you know nothing about what's really happening. Oh really? I can tell by the hunch in your back that you were stabbed by a fork when you were 12. Your shoes are untied, and that tells me that you're untidy, and you're probably having issues at home. You're missing your wedding ring, so you probably lost that down the drain when you were doing dishes. The indents on your face, that tells me that your wife beats you with a fly swatter. So if this whole shebang is to keep kids from being stabbed by forks, and keep them from being swatted by fly swatters. But the thing is, I love forks. I love what they stand for. So I'm not going to sit idly by and watch you oppress them like this. The gig is up. We got you. Okay, none of that was true. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, Cal, that literally made no sense. You probably want to know the truth. You see, Cal Mahood, our operation is more important than you could ever imagine. I run a secret division of a corporation that uh, rhymes with Microsoft. You see, my friend, his name rhymes with Gil Bates. It's been looking into expanding his company's markets recently. Expanding them into uh, silverware, production and distribution. As a test site, we chose this college. For years, we've infiltrated the kitchen system, creating an underground network that controls all utensil movement on this campus. With this control, we have been able to produce and replace all pre-existing spoons. Thanks to Mr. Bates' genius recipe for crafting the most deluxe model of spoon imaginable. Unfortunately, his gift did not extend to fork creation. For some reason, the company that rhymes with Microsoft can't properly engineer a high-quality fork. Hell, the closest thing we got was a spork, but who wants a spork? Instead of matching competition, why not erase it? All forks that are shipped to this campus are immediately sent out to our factories to be recycled into spoon-making materials. It's simple, Cal. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> oh yeah, well we have been for the past three years. We'll tell everyone about this. They won't believe you, and even if they did, they're perfectly happy with the most deluxe model of spoon available. 
believe me, we've improved this place. Well, I don't think so. Take them out. Uh, boss, which kind? There's three different types. Yeah, there, there's killing them, throwing them outside, or taking them out for a nice dinner. What do you think? Uh, nice dinner? No, throw them out. Hey, hey, don't be so bossy. I am the boss. Ooh, okay, hey, sassy queen. Never come back here. Come on, buddy. Look on the bright side. There is no bright side. School is being robbed of its utensil privileges. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, that's just the way it is. I failed the school. You know what you need? Food. You're not you when you're hungry. Right? <sighs> Fine. I'll take you out. My treat. Sure. I could use a pick-me-up. There's nothing like a good pint. It's chocolate milk, Jimmy. Creamy and delicious nonetheless. <sighs> Thought I had this one. Who cares? Nothing has changed. That's the problem. I thought I could make a difference. I thought I could change this place for the better. I thought I could be just like my old man. Who's your old man? He's a cop. Best of the best. Yeah, most kids grow up playing with their Legos and playing video games. I grew up with a magnifying glass and some fingerprint identification tabs. I thought I could be just like him, but no, apparently not. Hey, don't feel bad. I didn't even notice the forks were gone until you came. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? You kiss him and you make sweet love and you leave him in the morning. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Jimmy, where'd you get this car? I don't know, I just drive this thing. How do you not know? Well, you see, I got this internship, and I basically just drive to the spot, park it for a few minutes, drive to another place, park it for another few minutes, and that's it. I get paid a lot of money, too. It's pretty sweet. Jim. What's up? You're working for the Mafia. I am? You're driving the escape car full of forks. Huh. Okay, here's the new plan. I told you never to come around here. Now that you have, there's nothing to prevent me from ending your college career early. And once you're out of the picture, there'll be no more detectives to crack the case. No one else to figure out that by the end of this semester, our overtaking of the kitchen department will be complete. And the company that rhymes with Microsoft will successfully have completed its monopoly on the utensils of this campus. Any last words? Any last words? Any last words? See, the only thing is, now we have evidence, and today's shipment. Stop the car. But it's already gone. After it!
still don't know how we lost him. Well, at least I'm trying to do something. There he is! Wait, 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 wait! Boss, there's a fork in the road. Well, did you see where he went? No, there are actual forks in the road. It's a distraction. Stay in his tail. I know you're in here, Cal Mahood. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the beep, and I will get to you as soon as I can. With the fight you want. So be it. How did you lose him? I don't know, Gene. Wait, 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 his car's right up here. Yeah, really, wow. Where is he? Yeah, but why is it there? I don't know, but I'm gonna take it. Cause that's what friends are for. Any last words? Yeah, your breath smells like parsnips. Clear. What? How is this possible? Don't worry. There's no temper peating, hypoallergenic, CD select pillows, and prison chump. Better than video games? Are you kidding me? This was awesome. I got in a high speed chase today. I mean, I'm still figuring out the controls, but overall, it was a pretty solid experience. Solid? Okay, fine, Cal. It was awesome. You got that right. Too bad there aren't any more crime rings on campus. I mean, this sure was fun. Yeah. Hey, isn't this always what you wanted? To make a change? To make your dad proud? I mean, yeah, but I just feel like it's not enough anymore. You could always try video games. Yeah. I think I've got a better idea. After the success from the Ford case, we knew there was something greater that could come from our agency. Thanks to the Italian Mafia, we were able to get ourselves a real office space. It was really easy. Not many people ever come down here, and we could work without interruption. Why the Fork Agencies? Great name, right? <laughs> Nothing could be better. Me and Jimmy taking on the world one case at a time. Who are you?
I love you, Dad. Professor Slavodin, you call for me? Yes. Tell me everything you know about Calm the Hood. 